I'm whispering. Um, yeah, it's just gone 25 past four. I'm a little bit late. Uh, oh, can't see a thing. Pretty sure. Oh, Art's up. Oh, everyone's up. Okay, well, we can't see anything because it's dark. But Oh, no, we can lighten it up. Good morning. Yeah, the boys are all awake. Um, I'm going to get on and feed and get going. I don't feel too bad. I've been awake... Um, you know when you just like know you have to get up early and you wake up about 50 million times through the night that's what I did I can't tell you how many times I woke up and I was like nope, still not time to get up I don't know if it's the excitement or just terrified of missing the alarm which I never do so I don't know why I was bothered I'm going to get on with it because I didn't really get up as early as I should have done um, God knows how long it will take me to put plats in that tiny little mane of goops but, and the boys are all looking at me like we'll get on and feed us then not doing too badly this morning. I've just mucked out the two boys that are staying. Just going to start putting in the last few things into the lorry and that kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to be quiet because I've got neighbours on the other side of the road. It's hard to muck out quietly. Um, but yeah, so we're getting there again. And then I'm going to get out and get a cute patty because that's the most important thing. I thought I'd get the ramp down, get the hay net in, that kind of thing first. Before I go and do that, keeps just having a bit of a snack at the moment. But yeah. I like the nerves are kicked in a little bit now. <laughs> just a little bit, not too bad. Just a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving. On to the plaiting. You can see here the top part of his mane is not too bad. I mean, it's dirty, obviously, but um, this is where I'm going to struggle. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure whether I'm actually even going to get a plait in that or not. Might have to be a bit of a gap. The good thing is, is where he had... That last allergic reaction, he's, um, his, his coat's growing back pretty well now, so... I mean, this is just wet that's showing up on the camera, but yeah, it's growing back quite well, so... He doesn't look too bad. He's looked a lot worse, that's for sure, I can promise you that. He's gone to some championships looking like, um... Thanks, Coop. Like, really lacking in coat and looking really manky, but he doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I've also got the, um, magnetic wraps on... If you'd seen my review video on there, I'm not really sure they do anything, but I thought, do you know what, if it wakes his back legs up, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I've not found any great improvement with him wearing them, but like I say, for today, if it wakes his back legs up, gets the blood pumping, they're on. Just about to load. I'll just show you how misty it's got. It actually wasn't that misty first thing. Look at that. Bit spooky. Very spooky. My mum won't like driving in this. Lesser. Anyway, I'm sure it'll burn through quick enough. Very eerie, though. might be wondering why I'm videoing me walking up a hill. That's because I was on the hunt for the stable manager. You had to get your passport checked and given a piece of paper before you could unload your horse. And we were quite away from the stable manager, but I was enjoying, there's a view of the pet plan arenas. I was enjoying the walk because at that point my nerves were destroying me, literally. And I just find walking relieves it a bit. Also, nice chance to have a look at everyone's lorries, have a bit of a nose. Um, lots of lovely horses out and about because there was an arena walk. That was the piece of paper I went to get. Um, arena walks were going on, not something I ever do with Coop, but yeah. So I was having a look at everyone's beautiful horses. My God, it's just like dressage heaven. Um, so yeah, that's why I thought I'd video it and just nice and quiet. Some reason I ended up a little bit short on warm up time. I don't know if it's just it took me longer to get up to the arenas, um, and also you have to go down to like the little arena next to the big indoor. And I just for some reason I didn't have a huge amount of time. Not that's really an issue for Corporal, he doesn't like to be over warmed up, but still, I went down feeling not quite ready. And this was me going in, um, feeling dreadfully nervous still, as you can see from my face. 
I've removed the audio from my freestyle because I already have it on my channel and I get copyrighted when I use it. So it's out there. I'll put it in the description below. So if you want to listen to the music I've chosen, you can. Uh, so I felt... It's hard to describe. I felt a little bit like a rabbit in headlights when I got in there. Because I don't practice my music very often, I don't have a long arena at home or anything like that. When it comes to actually then suddenly riding the test, I can get a little bit like, wow, this is a lot going on. And I find freestyles, as much as I like doing them, there's a lot for me to think about. You know, you're constantly trying to make sure you match the music. And I don't know if it's just me, but every time I ride it, I seem to come away with a slightly different test. Um, sometimes I seem to get ahead of the music, sometimes I get behind it, whatever. It always seems to be different. And today was no exception. <laughs> today was, a, you know, felt like probably the worst it's gone in that I was ahead of the music and then behind the music in and added a whole new movement in because I was so ahead at one point. Um, so I felt like I didn't ride him necessarily brilliantly because I was so busy just trying to concentrate on riding the test. But he was very sweet. Uh, he suits not being wound up or annoyed or, you know, asked for too much. Like, that's how you keep him quite happy. So I've obviously just done my 15 metre circle here. And then I come around to do my medium canter. Now, obviously, it's difficult because you guys can't hear the music. And so I can't point out when I was a little bit out on, on the music wise. But the first medium canter I thought was actually not too bad. He'd been getting a few poor marks on his medium canters. I was finding he wasn't really moving away from my leg very well. Um, the counter canter here, I didn't do the best job it all came out quite quick I know I made this test up but even so not the best simple change again I didn't really set him up for it or help him out um I just really was like a rabbit in headlights sort of thinking oh my goodness it's all coming up thick and fast I'm into my next 15 meter circle you can see he's in a sweet outline he doesn't have a huge amount of sort of impulsion and sort of suspension as he moves but that's just coop I mean he's 20 he's never moved particularly great behind um so we go with it but what I'm pleased about is you know he just looks nice he's going in a nice outline he's producing a nice test this was the next medium canter not as good I mean it's only just showing a little bit there and then once again into the counter canter he's a little bit rude there with his head that's because I asked him to come back and he was like oh no having too much fun in the medium canter um not my greatest half circles <laughs> Um, better simple change though and then back into canter now for some reason at this point I was really behind my music and so it was all coming up really fast and I was just getting a little bit panicky so that's why that simple change wasn't great because I was thinking I'm gonna have to do it early whereas it should be at sea so at that point I hate that feeling because you do ride less because you're busy trying to work out how you can get back on track and I had the walk here and so first of all this is the long rain walk and I'd already decided that once I got into the medium walk which I do on a half 20 meter circle as you'll see in a second I made it a bit small just to try and save some time which you can do in a freestyle because obviously the judges do not know what you're planning they don't know your test but you'll see I mean it's not a 20 meter half circle it's goodness knows it's like very shallow but it did mean that when I got back to the other side I was kind of back on track with the timing so you know sometimes you have to do that so now picking up into the trot I would also say is that I don't perhaps love my music when I did my novice freestyle, I really adored my music and every time I wrote it. This music, it's, it was my choice, my pick of music, but I don't love it. And the more I ride it, the more I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm not about to fork out for any new music, not now. But um, yeah, I don't love it. Here I'm going into the leg yield, not his strongest movement. Um, he tends to get a bit wooden and a little bit... Uh, just funny in the mouth. He just finds it really hard. He's not that supple anymore. Um, I didn't think he did a bad job today, but I just know that it's not a mark he scores highly on or not a movement that he scores highly on. Now round to go and do a medium trot. And now I think I was a little bit ahead of the music. This is why, honestly, I think it's just me. Please let me know in the comments if you struggle as well with your timings. Back into a 10 meter circle. Again, not a strong movement for him because he lacks suppleness and the judges will always pick up on it but you know he's doing a 10 meter circle nice enough back down to doing another leg yield and here I was super ahead of the music by this point and I was thinking oh it's not matching and the problem is while this is all going on in my head I'm not concentrating on riding him to my best 
But he did a nice enough leg yield. He kept his head really still. He wasn't mouthy, which he can be. So that he was a good boy. Now here, because I was so far ahead of the music, I decided to add another 10 metre circling, which I've never done before. But it, otherwise, it wasn't my medium trot was not going to match the music. So I just thought, Do you know what? And the thing is, you don't really know if you've got enough time for that 10 metre circle. But it worked because then I went straight into the medium trot here and actually the music matched quite nicely. So I was very, you'll have to take my word on it, but I was quite pleased with that, that I'd put the 10 metre circle in. But I think it's that thinking on the spot and trying to gauge whether you can manage a 10 metre circle or manage an extra movement to help with your timing. It's just quite full on, I find. But honestly, please let me know in the comments if other people struggle is, or is it just me? Anyway, the last part actually finished off brilliantly my half circle back onto the centre line. I timed my halt perfectly with the music. So that was really good. And he halted square, which was lovely. He just looks quite quiet, quite chilled like he always is. But I thought he did a good job. So a very stroppy court court today. I don't know why, but he's got his knickers in a big old twist. Luckily, after he did his test. Um, spending his majority of his time doing that. I don't know quite why he's got himself so worked up. Like I say, thankfully, after the test, not before it. Um, he finds these kind of atmospheres really stressful and the older he's got, the worse he's got. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I'm trying to walk both horses down the field. Um, I didn't finish up how I got on. Copper was being such a pain there. He got, just got himself so wound up. And anyway... We finished tenth, which is amazing. I honestly have never, never wanted tenth place more. Um, and it was right down to the last rider, and yeah, I can't. Oh, I've got. It's not a safe place, is it, Angus? Honestly, that cat is crazy. Um, yeah, we finished tenth, and I couldn't be happier. I just, it was like the icing on the cake. He did a good test. Do I think if he had gone in uh, not first, would he have done better? Quite possibly. Um, but you know, you can't think like that. But I do wonder. He was a sweetheart. He, you know, I think he did the best he could. I'm not sure I, I think I could have ridden better. I felt very much like I sort of uh, got in there and was a bit like, oh my God, I got to remember my test and the timings. And I just, sometimes I get a little bit rabbit in the headlights about it. Okay, I'm going to try and take RT's head collar off without freaking out. He's probably going to explode because um, he's been in. Oh no, do you like it when you surprise me, Art? Well, well, old man. Evie that way. Yeah, I was, I just don't, I, once I'm in a championship and you go into that ring, I just seem to, not freeze, I just can't seem to do everything. Like, I'm so busy on making sure my timings are right and the coops kind of forward thinking and everything that I then forget to kind of keep him up together and all that. So I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't do more when I got in there, but you never know, that might have been in my favour that I didn't do more. Either way, I'm really pleased and... That was a very hot elementary class. That was ridiculously hot. Some incredible scores. So, you know, to get a tenth is not too bad. We'll take that. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling... I kind of went from at the beginning feeling pleased with the score and then I dropped so quickly. And, you know, these highs of 72, 73, 74s were coming out and I was a bit like, oh, actually my 70s not that good. So to cling on to a tenth, I suddenly feel like, oh my God, I feel like I've won. <laughs> Um, and, and don't feel nervous anymore. Gosh, my nerves this morning. I was fine while I was getting ready. Didn't have any problems. Cat's thinking about jumping on the dog. Um, and then, hi Angus. Yeah, and then I, I just, as soon as I got in the lorry and we started going, I couldn't, <laughs> my nerves. Oh, it's really spiky. Don't go on that. Don't go on the Hawthorn. Yeah, Angus, it's Hawthorn, you peanut. Yeah, it, it just, sorry, I was just picking up the hawthorn that's come out the hedge. I think sometimes the rabbits, even though I pick it up all the time, I think when the rabbits pop in and out, they pull it back out again because I've swept all this up before. Yeah, I felt dreadful. <laughs> so dreadful. I was thinking, this is not fun, feeling like this. Um, but yeah, I was all right once I was on. Anyway, very pleased. Um, God knows what I do now. I was on the way home talking to my mum about it, going, I don't know what I do now. But uh, we've got a bit of time to think about it. So, yes. Really, really pleased. So, uh, to get a rosette means a lot. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but a rosette means a lot. And a championship rosette means even more. And, 
he he's done well he's scraped some championship rosettes over the years that he's competed so been so proud of him and he, he actually did a very clean test for him he didn't trip which is incredible because he normally always trips and i suddenly had a panic before i got in there because i was thinking oh my goodness the arena has just been raped and that couldn't be worse for him but yeah he didn't trip he didn't break he didn't make any big mistakes he was a good boy i am just heading off to go and get the boys in i am absolutely cream crackered <laughs> i am so tired now um yeah i can barely keep my eyes open but um yeah i'm feeling very sort of i think reflective you know i always think it takes time whatever competition you're doing it takes time to digest how it went and how you feel about it and i'm feeling really proud of him bless him keep such a little champ uh also thinking what am i doing next which is scary i think i'm gonna go to summer regionals and then I think I'm going to call it a day there. I know I keep saying that and then I don't do it. And then I go to another competition. But I really do. I won't. It, it will stop this year. Whatever happens, it will stop this year. The, you know, looking for a new four-legged friend continues. Not very successfully, I must say. Um, everything's just out of my budget. But we will continue looking. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, and coming along to the Winter Champs, which... Still feel very lucky to have got there. I think that's the thing to remember as well, isn't it? Is that, you know, everyone that's got there has done blimmin' amazing. So, yeah, pretty chuffed to have that 10th place. Hope I'm hoping they send that rosette to me because I'm one for a rosette. And, uh, yeah, I, I bless. I think the, the secretary did say it would get posted, but I don't believe anyone nowadays because I've done quite a few regionals and they say they're going to send the rosette and they don't. So, um, yeah. Fingers crossed they actually post it because I want it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'm sure I will catch up with you guys very soon. God knows what I'm going to vlog about if we haven't got shows to go to. Because uh, I don't think Mount Ballon is for at least a month. And I don't intend to go to any competitions in between. Nothing like being super organised, me and Coop. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rattling on. I'm going to get the boys in and fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs>